Hello everyone, welcome to Mark One Design EMC channel. In today's session, we're going to look at how to set up and perform low order harmonics tests. Now, if you're designing a mains powered product, one of the most important EMC tests you need to pass is the low order harmonics test. When we say low order, that means low frequency. So typically it's ranging from 50 Hz or 60 Hz, depends on the uh, country you, you, you live, uh, all the way up to the 40s harmonics. So that's two kilohertz in EU or in the UK. Now to put it simply, the product you design, you need to make sure that the current drawn from your product is as close to a sinusoidal waveform as possible. Now this is often difficult to achieve because of the complexity of the design compared to the uh, tests that we talked about in the past such as conducting emission or reading emission tests low order harmonics tests actually is very simple to set up because you don't need to worry too much about the ambient noise or the test ground plane the, the test actually can be set up in pretty much all, uh, all sorts of environments if you've got the right equipment Okay, so let's have a look at the test setup in this case, okay? The unit we're using is a electrically controlled um, motor here, sitting here. As you can see, we don't need to put in a test ground plane in this case, it just sits on the bench. Uh, in order to um, monitor the voltage and current waveform, here we have a high voltage differential probe and a current probe connected in this case. And we're using a mixic oscilloscope to monitor both the mains voltage and the current in this case. This oscilloscope also has the math function that allows you to perform an FFT analysis of the current waveform, which you will see later. Okay, and the main equipment we use is this uh, Flickr harmonics and Flickr analyzer coming from a company called TTI. You probably would notice that there's another unit sitting uh, beneath this uh, unit. And this is actually a cleaned AC power source. Now, you might wonder, why do we need a clean AC power source? Well, let's have a look. What does the mains voltage look like in my household? Okay, so if I uh, flip the switch, that means now the mains power is drawn, the mains power is drawn directly from the household, right? And you can see from the user interface that the voltage actually is, is not the senior solder as you would imagine. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, so if I switch on the load, which is this motor, okay, so motor starts to spin and here you can see um, the voltage and current waveform we measured. Right? The stand actually defines a very clean AC voltage waveform so that you can perform the harmonics test. In this case, if the voltage, mains voltage, is not clean, so of course your current won't be clean, right? Even you are testing with a resistive load. So the results you get could be uh, very misleading if you don't have a clean AC source. Hence the need for this unit sitting here, okay? So now let's have a look. Now, rather than uh, direct connect to the mains, I'm gonna switch the corrected uh, mains okay so now it's switched to correct to the mains you can see here the mains voltage is close to a sinusoidal purely sinusoidal waveform and also it gives you the message saying supply meets en requirements whereas in, whereas in the previous case you can see supply fails to meet the en defined uh, requirement because the crest limit is wrong harmonics is, is wrong okay so let's put it into the uh, clean AC source gives us a, a, a good starting point in this case, okay? So with this in mind, now I'm switching on the unit again, right? So as you can see here again, we have a very clean uh, AC voltage. Well, but the current, of course, is definitely not sinusoidal in this case. Now, if, if I uh, click math and I believe I can uh, zoom in, yeah? So you can see the red trace here shows you the harmonics content uh, based on a very simple FFT analysis of the current waveform. Of course, if you have a clean AC voltage source, you can use, you can save the current waveform in a sort of DOS CSV format in this case, and then you can use 
um, either MATLAB or whatever tools you want to do a FFT analysis, and then you can compare the, the results uh, with this machine. But you know, most of the time we use a, a analyzer like this to help us to perform tests more accurately and also um, easily in this case. Right. So as you can see, the software is extremely easy to perform. Um, you, you can look at here, I think it, it needs to uh, define a current, so you can lock the range, and you can see that the, the test is uh, ready to perform. So if I click start the test, then it will do a countdown. Um, again, this time you can define time differently. So in this case, we define 150 seconds to do the sweep. You might wonder why do we need to perform the test um, across a few minutes? It's really because you know for you know for this product it's all right because it's quite steady. Uh, for other products, you might have different running states drawing different type uh, levels and different shapes of current. So by having a window that would allow you to test all the current conditions, and and once this. Uh, a test is complete, it gives you a uh, message that then you can uh, produce a report as you will see. Um, the software also gives you a few different windows. So th in this window is the waveform where you can see the current and the voltage. In this case is the uh, histogram uh, uh, diagram shows you the limit and you know your certain harmonics whether they are exceeding the limit or in this case under the limit. Uh, you can also view in this table view where you know if you are familiar with the standard test reports, often they give you a a, a table view, uh, tell you the homo each harmonics content and whether they pass or fail de defined in the standards. So as you can see here, we have nine seconds left uh, for the the sweep to to complete. So let's wait until and we we'll see. Okay, so in this case, it says test complete. And results held. Okay, so now I can switch off uh, the unit and it can actually detect the load power off. You can click File and then uh, select a a preview report, for example. Yeah, so this is the report that generates. It tells you the voltage, the current, and all the harmonics content, whether they pass or fail using you know whatever the standard defines. Because if you read the standard, actually, it's not simple meets the limits or or above the limits. Because if you have uh, certain harmonics above the limits, you can still pass if you do the other uh, calculation. So this software basically uh, enable you to do that automatically rather than you, you have to uh, calculate manually. So yeah, so this is a very simple overview of the uh, setup for harmonics um, test. In future videos, uh, we're probably gonna compare this result uh, against the current waveform we got here and do a post analysis and to see how close we get between the two uh, methods. Okay, um, thank you very much for, for watching this video.